Hi, we're back for some more daily races. We're on daily race B, and we're doing a bit of spa in the group three cars. Now, we had a bit of a weird issue at the end of the last stream. Uh, hi, Rob, how's it going? Thanks for popping in. Um, we got to the very top of DRB, and then our driver rating didn't go anymore. It kind of reset back to the bottom of B, uh, which was a bit weird. And I found out since it's because my safety rating uh, dropped. So we had a couple of uh, carnage races uh, at um, Deep Forest, and my rating went down to B, and apparently that completely nerfs your driver rating, and it, you can't go into DRA. <laughs> if you uh, if your rating, safety rating, has to be S or A in order to get you into um, DRA. Bit of a shame, which I will, uh, I'll show you what it looks like anyway. All right, Poison Monkey, how's it going? Thanks for popping in. Right, so... Uh, we're at Spa, and uh, if we go onto my page, you can see the driver rating at the top. Hey, Jacob. Um, the driver rating at the top is right at the bottom of B. Now, that was at the very, very top of B, uh, a race or so ago. Excuse me, I've got an notes. Um, and my sportsmanship rating was in B as well. And like I say, that nerfs you. So if you <laughs> if you haven't got a safety rating of SRA, you cannot get into DRA. Bit of a shame. So that's the that's the task for tonight. We're going to try and get some clean races. To, we're nearly at the top of B, so it shouldn't be too bad. He says, um, try and get a couple of clean races. See if we can get into a. Hopefully, the driver rating will go straight back up to the top again, and not I won't have to restart from the bottom of B again because that would be a bit annoying. We'll see. We will see what happens. We've got a race starting in a second uh, with no practice, which is good. So I might just jump in and get a quick lap. Bit of a lap anyway, because you don't get a full lap of spa. Uh, it's kind of, kind of usual time. It works for me on controller. I don't know well it'll be, how well it'll go on um, a wheel. Because uh, I was watching. Um, a bit of one of Digit streams, and he when he was doing the setups, and obviously he knows more about it than I do. All right, Eddie. Um, yeah, he knows way way more about it than I do. So um, he was kind of putting. A, uh, he was testing out a horrible uh, thing. He was testing some setups out for the GTR. And I don't mind the GTR. So I thought I would uh, tweak it a bit. mostly in the spring rates. I set it more in line with what a racing car should actually be. And I tweaked a couple of other bits to kind of make it feel a little bit more responsive out of corners because it felt like it bogged down a little bit. But I'm kind of used to it now, so... But yeah, any, anyone's welcome Welcome to give it a go. It's uh, be interesting to see how people get on with it. So I'm kind of used to it now. And I did try it against the stock. And it's definitely better than the stock one. Oops. Right, first race. Um, they're not a waste of time, but you can. I'll put a pole again. But you can go. Um, you can go quicker with a proper setup. It was mainly in the. It kind of. It kind of tones down on the GTR. It tones down the oversteer a little bit because it, it's really hard to. You get tons of wheel spin on the GTR normally. It kind of tones that down a bit. Um. You still, obviously, rotationally, if you go too fast around a bend, then the back end's going to go. You can, it's not like you can do about that. It's just the nature of the car. Um, yeah, so it tones the oversteer down a bit and a bit of the wheel spin, essentially. And it turns in a bit better as well, I found. So just, which was the idea. Thanks, everyone, for popping in, by the way. Don't forget to leave a like. Get, the, uh, get that going. That'd be awesome. Right. 
I have done one race on this because I wanted to see if I could get out of B and the uh, safety rating. Um, I thought I'll have one race, have a bit of practice. I thought, you know what, I'll do a thumbnail, if nothing else. Get a bit of action, make a thumbnail out of it for the stream. And it turned out I was on pole. Shot off at the front. One by seven seconds. <laughs> nearly eight seconds. It was nearly eight seconds of one by the, the race I had earlier. So, no action for a thumbnail. So, I did one in scopes for this. So, I, I didn't expect that to happen. I think there was carnage behind me, though. But, yeah. So, I've done one race and I got one win, which is great. It's completely jigsed it for tonight, though. Oops. This is going to be horrible through here. So that guy went to smash me wide. That was a good start. That's going to kill the safety rating off. Just talking behind this guy. Well, that guy tried to spin me out. This is going to do the safety rain a load of good, isn't it? It doesn't help that my car is completely wrecked. I mean, thanks for the bump. Try that again. It's always going to be the way where people are going to catch down there and he's going to go for the inside. Guy behind's gone a bit wide. Alright, there's a bit of carnage behind, gives me a bit of a gap.
Ah, oh, to lift a little bit there. Should be interesting to see how this has affected the safety grating anyway. That's only two laps. Feels longer. Someone's having a bit of a problem. Ah, he's got a penalty and so have I. He's quit. Yeah, thought I'd get a penalty there. Never thought I'd fin rev out there. Must be because I'm following the other car. Excuse me. He's going to overtake me again on the penalty anyway. Get through a lap without a penalty would be handy. Bit too much wheel spin. Porsches are really good at accelerating our corners. Right, that's a bit safer. See if anyone makes a mistake other than me. This is going to be interesting. Hey, Dami. How's it going?
Oops. Possibly a bit of a lunge. <laughs> but we'll have it. After all that uh, mayhem at the start. I don't think we're going to be getting into SRA. <laughs> But I'm going to have a look at what happened at the start, because that guy in first totally tried to smash me off when we were going side by side. <laughs> Cheers, Eddie. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it to be quite that brutal. He's not happy. Oh, it's because uh, I went past him at the end. Uh, second race of this, but first race tonight. Let's have a look. Oh, I'm still in B. There's a surprise. How much did it go down? Let's have a look. Wow. <laughs> Ouch. I need a couple of clean races for that one. Right, let's have a look. I went to oh, I was far too slow through there. So we're there. And he just tries to smash me out of the way to make space for himself. Ends up giving me a penalty. So I've got no speed through this bit now. So I had to uh, start from the scratch. Start from scratch. And I nearly lost it there, which didn't help. And again, I was on the slippy stuff then, so I couldn't accelerate. There. Did he just get punted? He just got sandwiched from that guy up the middle. So this is the guy that didn't like me much in the first time. So he's coming up the inside. He does stop there. I don't know where he thinks he's going. Up there. Because there's no space there. Hey, Mark. So he gets through there. So that guy goes off. Let's just keep an eye on the time. I had to give that guy a bit of space. Yeah, I got through there, so that was okay. Hey, Genie, how's it going? Oh, the Nismo's spinning every week. That's why you have to stick a tune on it. This is a bit of a lunge. But then... You know, <laughs> there was space there. I did kind of force it back out, but... He did leave a massive gap. And then it, it was the guy behind who ended up smashing into him. But yeah, a bit of a lunge. 
But after that, right? Take anything and get, I think. Right, let's get in for the next one. Before it, uh, before it starts. Uh, I'm running a setup on this, which I will have to put in now before the race starts. I'll show you what the setup is. It's just one I've uh, I've kind of cobbled together. Um, so it's like with this qualify. <laughs> what would Senna do? Indeed, he'd probably smash them all off the track and then complain that they were in his way. Right, um, don't want to do that. I want to set the car up. Uh, car settings. Detailed settings. Alright, let's get my phone out. <laughs> I've got a screenshot on my phone. It's such a pain you can't save. Save your settings. Now it's a case of typing them in before me... Uh, the race starts or my phone screen goes off. A lot of people have been using these spring natural frequencies way, way lower than this. But I know for for a race car, it does tend to have to be. It's meant to be three to three and a half for decent downforce cars, and these have got a bit of downforce to them. So <laughs> that is to try and stop it wheel spin out of, out of um, you know out the slow corners. That's why that's so high. I don't use any brake balance on it. I think if you find that you're, uh, the back end's going a little bit on corner entry, then um, I'd stick a bit of positive brake balance on it. But the weird thing with the GTR as well, it doesn't turn very well under braking. It turns much better when you let off the brakes. So the quicker you can sort of get off the brakes and coast it round, the quicker it turns in. Which you need to do down the bottom of this bit. Because you can do this flat out. I was wondering if the tyres would wear, but in only four laps, they don't seem to. I say it works well on controller. I don't know about on a wheel. You've really got to watch out for that green stuff. You touch that green stuff, the car's going to spin. Right, let's see if we've got the same guys in here. Oh, I'm Powell again. So we've got different people in this time. It's all BBs. It could be a load of people who are stuck in DRB. So we had some BAs in the last one, but they we're near BA now. Cheers, Rob. So we need, um, ideally, some carnage behind us. A beetle. Wow, brave choice. It's quite a good mix of cars. I, I well, I'm kind of hoping it'll put me up because it's not moved. DLB hasn't moved, so I assume it is right at the top. Um... And it'll tick over once I get into SRA. Assuming my DR is still high enough. Because if my DR drops, then 
I'll have to get through it again. We will find out, I guess. Should I get a couple of... I'd need a couple of clean races, I think, to get it back into a... Which is no mean feat, judging by that first race. <laughs> Indeed. I think the, the first race I had earlier today... Um, false sense of security there, I think. See, that's what I want. A bit of carnage behind slow them all down. I need to go much faster into that corner. The guy behind me is still in the slipstream, so... and pull out a bit of a gap if I can. That was a bit dangerous. Got a bit of a gap. Didn't get as good an exit as I wanted there. Car behind the rear, uh, gaining a bit. Lost a bit of time through that bit. Good, pulling away a little bit again.
car behind's on a flyer. That's good, I didn't have to lift through there and they did, judging by the time. I usually do terrible through that section. Not great. This is going to be close. Do with them picking up a penalty. Phew, that was close. Managed to defend that last corner and he didn't take me out, which was nice. And oh, that should be a clean race as well. Phew. That was a tough one. Had to concentrate quite a lot on that one.
Fair play to him. Guy must have started quite far back. He had an absolute stormer through that last lap, though. Clean race, that's what we want. So his safety rating's gone down, so I wonder if he had a bit of hargy bargy. That Tran Grismo's had a, an absolute nightmare. By the looks of it. His comments have been the same through the last two. So that was generally uh, pretty quiet. I'll save the replay anyway, but I think it was pretty quiet. Let's see what our ratings got to. So it's gone up a bit. So we need uh, another couple of decently clean races, I think. Let's see how close he got. Because it was pretty close. He must have got fastest lap because he was on an absolute stormer. Slightly different to that first race, though. I need to get that first corner better off the pole. That's, that will let, that's what let me down in both races. Um, so he's uh, he's pretty close. I had to lift quite quite heavily through that the start of this section. I just I just tried to pin the inside so we couldn't go up the inside. And once I had the inside, he had to go wide and he was never getting it back. Close one though. At least he didn't just pump me off. Cause a lot of people would have done. <laughs> Alright, let's queue up for the next one. Got six minutes, so hopefully we get a couple more laps in. Such a pain having to put the um, setup in every time. the right way around or is it the other way? Check. Uh, yep, that's the right way around. Yeah, it's, it's so much easier to do it in like Forza, where you can save setups and share them and stuff. At the very least, let you save it. Like you can with the, um, you know, when you create setting sheets for, you know, the normal, normal races. I don't know why I just can't let you just set, pick a setting sheet, save it. Because when you go in the garage, you can save your tyres, and it keeps the same tyres all the time. So it should let you do it in the garage and keep it. But it doesn't. Even if you do it in the garage, it resets. So I need to get this better off pole. 
So if I start from the end, that's obviously too quick. But if I start from the pole, if I do it at that red bar, I might get away with it. quite easy to do that flat on the medium tyres. It's a bit touch and go on the hard tyres, especially when they start to wear. Group 4 cars can be a bit iffy on it as well. I find that corner really tricky as well. Yeah, I'd rather not bother with this end. I think it'd be good if they had a, a race with the end on. Like a daily... I still think they need a D. You know, keep B as it is, quite a simple race, not very long, maybe a bit longer than it is, but not massive. I've C, kind of like it is without the setups, and it just be I have a bit of pit strategy, and then have a race D, which is longer, full setups, dynamic weather, everything, just throw everything at race D, and then people can pick what they like. Because they've kind of been stealth introducing them for a while. You know, they start when this came out, they didn't have anything. Then they then they started letting brake balance get changed, like you could in sport. And then they started introducing bits of tuning with the um, ride heights and stuff, and not ride heights, the suspension. And now they've added differential tuning as well. So it'll be interesting to see where they go with it. Right, see where we are on this one. Oh, we're not top. A second. Got a couple of BAs in there. Oh, there is Senna. Got it and Senna in. Johnny Bravo. He was the guy who was behind me in the last one, wasn't he? So it's it's definitely a closer grid, so this'll this one'll be tricky. Just gotta make sure I don't bump this guy off. I saw CG Rollers got the uh, the Bilstein livery on on his BMW. It's quite a nice livery as well, the Bilstein one. You want to get nuts? Come on, let's get nuts. That's a Batman quote, isn't it? The old Michael Keaton Batman. From 1989, Batman. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's the relay center. I'm pretty, pretty certain on that to be honest. Well, it should be interesting not being on pole. Cheers, Rob. I 
I'll definitely have to watch the break in now so I don't just smash into the front of the guy. The guy in front, rather. At least I've got a tow down the, um, down the straight ish. It's not really straight, is it? It's a bit of a kink in it. Overcook that a bit. Right, so I know if I'm second. Stop before then. But on the plus side, don't get any horrible air through that section. Careful I don't touch that green stuff. Well, that green stuff, that'll spin you out as well. That green stuff. That green stuff just makes you go wide. You go flying off on some weird tangent. A little bit slow around there. Bit better. Hey, never quit. How's it going? Thanks for popping in. I'll just drift that corner. Let's try and get a bit more speed going. Go wide there, you're ruined. Ah, that went well. Lift a tidy right there, messed it up.
I knew that guy was going to come in for the bump on the uh, hairpin. I could see him flying up. Hopefully the dirty air gets him a bit. tapped around a bit now. That was okay. Come on, car. I think he must have lifted through there. lift off. I was hoping he'd pick up a penalty at the end. Or another podium, that'll do. Hopefully a cleanish race as well. There was a bit of contact, but it was generally people hitting me rather than me hitting them. Cheers, guys.
thing is, we get we get close to the A lobbies, we're just going to drop right down the leaderboard because the pace the pace is going to be way slower in A. Definitely need to improve that lap time to compete in A. As we say every time, we could do with a B plus lobby. That'd be ideal. That B plus lobby. Something in between B and A, just to kind of smooth it off a bit. Oh, clean race. That's what we want. Excellent. So Dampy's SR went down. That'll probably be he sort of nudge past me. Well, let's see where we are. Oh, we need another one. Another clean race. Especially stay in C. <laughs> it's it's weird actually because when I first when I first started playing this, um, I do, I was in D and I got to the top of D. You get into C and then C is like way too fast, so you end up dropping into D again. And then you're like, oh, I'm never going to be fast enough for C. And then eventually, a bit of practice, you're fast enough for C. You kind of work your way up, and it's like, oh, I'll never get a C. And then you get into B, and everyone's dead fast. And you're just like, oh, no. <laughs> I'm never going to be fast enough for B. And then you drop down to C again. And that happens a few times. And then eventually you cling on to B. And it just it's just slow pr progression. And it's the same with that with A now. B, you know, I'm generally near the top of the, the grid for B. You know, if I don't mess it up, I have a clean race. I generally finish OK at B. Or in A, it's just difficult to compete. Um, and one of the tricky things with A is because you, uh, especially this time of night, you end up backfilling all the all the A plus lobbies. So like the first three or four cars are A plus, and if you're the bottom end of A, you're kind of starting towards the bottom of the grid before you even get going. So the chances of uh, finishing high enough to raise your DR are pretty slim, unless you can sort of get towards the top end. Yeah, that's the thing, I suppose, is practice. I was surprised how fast I got back to it, towards A, to be honest, because I'd not played it for a few months. And getting straight back in again. It was uh, a surprise. Hey, Buckby. Yeah, B is a tricky one to get out of. It's so hard. Especially especially when you get towards the top end of B, it gets really brutal, the races. Because everyone's desperate to get into A. And it's the same at the bottom of A. Everyone's really desperate to keep hold of the uh, A rating. So everyone's really aggressive in A. Right, so we do sit, try a lap with the Ghost. So we're still 722. We're still in the top 1,000. So that's all right. Oh, we've got a new, a new Nismo at the top. Let's follow that one. See what line he takes. I was faster than Rory for about a lap <laughs> this morning. I'm saying that, he's still not that, fa that much faster than my time. I was gutted. I had a 2.16.7. I was on for a 2.16.7 and I hit the, I got a half second penalty on the very last corner coming out of that chicane. I was gutted. 2.16.7 is an amazing time. Thanks everyone for popping in by the way. Good to have everyone in. Don't forget to leave a like if you haven't already. Consider subscribing if you're new. Get the old uh, YouTube-y things out of the way. You know the drill.
Oh, he takes a risk going on that far on the green. Oh, a bit wide. It's this corner. I can never get right in third. I'm looking at chat there. It is all about practice on this. And it's looking at what the faster people do. That's why I like following a ghost, because I can kind of see where I'm making mistakes. Being able to do anything about it is something else. some people have just got a slightly better touch because that's easy that corner is easier to accelerate out of on a wheel because you've got the pedals it's easier to control the wheel spin coming out of that corner yeah you just got to be careful on the with this roll especially with this nissan Most of the corners on this track trying to kill you. Well, that's fine. If that's, if that's the level you like to race at, there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, we're pole again. Okay. Oh, that's a gap. That's a fair gap. Namco racer we've seen before. Recognize that name. He was the guy who hit me in the last one, wasn't it? Or the other one. Cheers, never quit. I'll see how we go. This might be the last race. See if if we can get the uh, if we can get a clean race. If we can't, I might have to do another one. Just to uh, just to see if we can get it. Because I'll be interested to see what happens. Well, I'll try and not mess up this first corner. Oh, I did have the radar. 2.18.5 I, I find watching the replays of the faster guys and then following the ghosts works for me and for some people it doesn't you know it's everyone's different it's just kind of how I kind of approach it but I, I know this track relatively well anyway it's just getting up to speed So it's so easy to do what they did and slide. If you turn too tight, the back end's going to go on you. Oh, a bit wide there. We're good, though.
a bit slow through there. Nearly messed that up. I tend not to do nations or any of those because the timings are always weird. I'm never sort of online online when they're on. Kill that. Ah, come on. I think I just got a penalty. No, got away with it. Nice one. See if we both got a penalty there. He's got dirty tyres, and so have I. He's got a penalty there anyway.
I don't need to beat him, I just need to stay close to him. Well, that was a bit naughty of him. Well, there goes the SR. <laughs> ah, car's knackered. I knew that was coming in. I think the SR has been well and truly reset. This guy must have had a bit of a mare as well. No, no, that's a different guy, I think. This is a guy I had uh, a battle with in another one. I mean, I'll get a short out of this one, if nothing else. Got a little bit of a wheel spin. Oh my god. What are they like? So who's that guy who took me out? I don't know, I'll have a check. I don't think it was. I have a feeling it was someone else. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry about that, never quit. Eighth it was. My my uh, ratings have been tanked there. Oh dear. Right, let's have a look.
it's worth looking at that. Oh, this is um. Now, to be honest, it's not as bad. It's not as bad as I thought it'd be. It's kind of put us back to where we were. So it's going to take another two, two, three races, I think, to get back. So time gone. Yeah, we might call that the last one. We'll have a look at the replay because we're not going to get there tonight. We're going to need uh, need another few races, I think. Right, let's have a look. Yes, it is, Mark. I'm I'm officially old. It's when I got the penalty at the start, at the same time as the other guy. Um, watch <laughs> watch the last stream. I think is the answer to that one. We had a couple of um, interesting races, shall we say. I was getting battered around all over the place. I was S. I was DRS to start last week. Well, I was A, I was A then I went into S. So this that, that was a terrible corner. I made such a mess of that. So where did it, where did it all come unstuck? It was there. It's that corner. I over I overcooked this. And I kept doing it. I need to stop earlier. Yeah, the SR was A. It was A last week. Then it went to S. And that, that that's what killed me on it. Um It was A then S, and then we had a race. Uh um Deep Forest. I think we had two races where I got absolutely battered. And my SR went from S to the bottom of B in two races last week oh so yeah we both got penalties there he went wide and I this, this corner I just pushed too hard to try and catch him and we both went over the line at both ended up with dirty tyres but I, I kind of saw him slide, so I backed off because I knew I was going to go. And then the pair is just sliding around there. So as this guy comes in... And it's a race there. And the thing is, I'm not just going to let him through. You know, he needs to back out of that. I've given him tons of space. So I've done nothing wrong there. He had loads of room. No AP Racing League. I'm just holding on to my line. He's got space on the inside. So he's got a penalty there. So I just keep behind him. Because I know he's got a pen. I messed it up a bit. I should have been way closer to him. So I go around the outside. He tries to hit me. Twice. So he's just tried to take me out. And then he goes to give me a nudge. So I just give him a nudge back. <laughs> Unfortunately, I got hit from behind, which not me wide. He got a three second penalty. <laughs> yeah, he got a three second penalty for it. I mean, to be fair, I know he did that on purpose. It's a shame I got hit from behind because I'd have got away with that. I would have totally got away with that. He's probably he can blame me for that one because I did hit him. But all the other ones, 
I think he was just uh, cheesed off because of the um, through oh, Radio Radio and O Rouge. But you know, side by side with this, someone's always going to come off worse. I just kept hold of the line. But yeah, we'll try and get a shot out of it anyway. It's, always, it's anything controversial like that's always good for views. Right, let's have a look at these roulettes and uh, we best wrap it up there, I think, because we're half twelve. And we'll uh, we'll revisit this in the week. Well, yeah, exactly, but, you know, people don't back out. Oh, we've got a six-star one, but it's for parts, so that's going to be useless. So we may as well do that first. Because that's a, a rubbish one. I mean, I don't even know why I'm going to do this, do you? Drum roll. Hey, it's an engine block. Complete waste of a ticket, that. <laughs> Complete waste of a ticket. Right, let's see what this one is. Oh, God. That was useless. <laughs> Absolutely useless. I don't need... I don't really play the single player side of this, so I don't need the parts. I will sort out the oil before I forget. It's just one of those things, isn't it? You know, it's um I was ahead, so I wasn't gonna back out. Completely the wrong guy, uh, thing there. And I could see he wasn't gonna back out, so I just uh I just carried it on. Right. Um what am I doing? Completely the wrong window. It's that one. Cheers, Mark. And everyone, thanks for being honest. While that's doing, I won't switch this over. So yeah, we're wrapping up there. So we have some oil change in the background. Might as well give it a wash while we're here. So it was looking quite promising, but then it all went a bit south in that last rise. So we'll be back at uh, some point in the week. Uh, I'm not sure when. Um, maybe tomorrow. Maybe Wednesday. We'll see. It is Wednesday tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah, we'll be back. Um, and we'll try again. <laughs> we'll give it another go, part two. See if we can get our, our SR back up, because we, we need to answer this question. What happens? Uh, I'll see if I can improve my lap time. But Oh, well. Anyway, thanks everyone for popping in. Don't forget to leave a like. If you haven't already, consider subscribing if you're new. And um, if you're watching this afterwards, leave a comment. Say, say that you're watching it afterwards. It's always nice to get a few comments later on. And it helps uh, YouTube push it to many people. Right. I'm going to take the dogs out. See you next time. Bye for now.